Today we are back with a repo series on the Nebraska Lands USA map. We will be using a Freightliner rollback to repo two pickup trucks, a forklift, and a lawnmower. We'll be heading over to the shop in our Chevy 1500. Let's take a quick walk around before we head on out. This is a 2018 model year with a V8. It's high country trim level so it's fully loaded. We do have upgraded wheels and tires here. We do have a bed cover in a drop hitch. And this is by far probably one of my new favorite Silverados. And we do have the aftermarket upgrade of the Tomiers. This will be a long and busy day here for us as we drive around town trying to find these four different vehicles. I'm excited to be back here with a repo series. It's been roughly a month, month and a half since I've done one here and we are on the Nebraska lands map. I think this is a great map for the series. Now a repo is where the owner does not pay the bills and the bank wants it back and usually after about a week, week and a half, uh, we uh, sell the uh, car to the auction. And we have arrived here. So I think we'll kind of park around back here to give us a little bit more room as uh, we'll be unloading all of them here at the lot. I really do like this 1500 now the 2018 year was the last of this uh, design as well so it's a pretty cool and this thing just looks awesome but here it is our Freightliner rollback and the first repo we have is a 2019 Silverado they are three uh, to four months behind which is uh, with truck payments a few thousand dollars so let's head over there and see if we can find it now we always do try to go to the customer's house first, usually uh, that's where they are and if they aren't we'll have to look elsewhere on the list, uh, usually where they work or uh, any place that we've seen the vehicle before. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far, my day has been overall great and the temperatures have been warming up a bit which is also nice. And there it is. Wow, that actually caught my attention pretty fast. Usually, I'm a bit more prepared, but this house looks to be it. So we do have to check the VIN uh, to make sure this is it, and we'll take a few pictures, and that's it. We'll take a picture over here just to kind of show the uh, bank where exactly it was. Now we do have keys to all the vehicles because the winch uh, really does not work and they don't want us dragging it, damaging the four wheel drive, the parking uh, gear or anything like that. Right about there seems to be good. Now I did extend this rollback here with and lengthwise so it's a little bit better for pickup trucks as you guys can see. And there we go. That's a pretty cool trick of mine is to hop in and switch between the two and get it loaded on. It's the most realistic way I've kind of found uh, to get uh, trucks up on the uh, back. If you do have any cool recommendations here for me, please let me know down below. I definitely want to try to feature more repo videos. Definitely want to do one in winter, repoing some winter toys. I think things like that would be a pretty cool thing to do. But all these repos, we are actually going to be putting kind of indoors. That way they're protected security-wise, and we don't have anyone trying to kind of steal these back. And it's good to keep them indoors out of the weather as well. The next repo on our list for today is a 2010 Chevy 3500. We'll first go by the house, but more than likely uh, it won't be there, but it's always worth a try. We have had reports that it has been in the shop getting repairs, and we'll go by there next. Now I will be looking into getting ourselves some new rollbacks and wreckers here for this series. Rollbacks are just so versatile, I really do like them lots, and they're perfect for repos. And 
and his house is right over here to the right. I don't see anything out front, and it could possibly be in the garage, and if it was, we can't do anything. Yeah, it's definitely not there. So why don't we go by uh, that repair shop since we've been told by a few people that it's been uh, getting repairs. And before we could do the uh, next repo after this, we got to stop and get diesel. And while we're at it, we'll grab a quick snack because it's been a pretty long uh, day so far. And the shop should be down here. There it is. Uh, it's uh, white, silver in color. Yeah, that is it here. So we'll get it blocked in. And I don't think the uh, repair company will give us any trouble. Let's take a look at the event. And that's it. Awesome, we got it. And uh, the second uh, try looks to have worked here. Sometimes uh, it takes three, four days to find vehicles, even months on end, because usually if you don't pay the bills, you know, and you try to hide the vehicles from the bank. But we got this one here, which is awesome. And it uh, looks like no one at the repair company is here. They could be off at lunch. Now this is one very long truck, so I think we'll try uh, to back it on, but we might have to drive it on and have the back end hang off a little bit. Yeah, let's readjust this, just a very long truck. Oh yeah, this will fit a lot better on it, and let's do this trick. It's a pretty cool trick, and I do recommend it uh, to all of those that do uh, want to use these rollbacks. Hopefully, the uh, winches will work. Now, I have noticed they do work sometimes while they don't other times, and that's okay. And I really do like these trucks by Wood Metal Farming. That's a pretty cool kind of back, uh, kind of little side road, a little shortcut over there to the gas station. But let's get this unloaded and let's stop there and grab some diesel. I think it's going to be uh, almost a full tank we're going to be getting. Now we will be back with a heavy rescue series as well. Definitely we'll be doing more of those, uh, especially with the winter and getting to use all the different uh, tow vehicles uh, to do some recovery work. That will be a, a lot of fun and... Let's get this put inside. Right, the next repo for today is a big green forklift. It's a Clark brand, so it's going to be tricky for us. Hopefully we are able uh, to get it. Now this is a little bit further back than what I was actually expecting to do. And this, yeah, this will just kind of work perfect. Now we do have diesel tanks on both sides here, so it takes a little bit more time uh, to get this filled up, but while it fills up, we will uh, definitely uh, kind of go grab something. It actually looks like both hoses will reach, that's something we'll do, we'll take up both uh, sides. It's going to be tight, but let's uh, reach it over, so we got one pumping gas, and let's put the other one. Perfect, so actually that's diesel, so we have uh, two pumps going there with diesel, and let's grab a quick bag of chips. Awesome, I got a bag of potato chips and a Pepsi, and let's uh, put the hoses back. Now, I do try to be as realistic as possible, role play as well, and you guys seem to like it a lot. Alright, let's go check out the warehouse. Usually, uh, it's at the warehouse of the company. It's over, over there, and they have been hiding it from us for, I would say, four to five months. And uh, this might be tricky to find, but we'll drive by and it, if it's there... Uh, and we just got by right before the train came wow and I could see it there in it there so wow we'll kind of park over here and this might be a quick and easy one here for us. sometimes uh, they just forget to kind of play in hiding but wow we got lucky just making it past the train and the VIN is in a few different areas so one back there and we'll check the one over here Perfect, so this is the correct VIN number for the correct everything, and we'll take a few pictures. Definitely want to just show the uh, bank where this was. Perfect. Now 
Now this forklift here is over $40,000. It's pretty expensive and it is a bit heavy, but I don't think our truck will have any problem uh, with it, even though this is, uh, I would say, one of the biggest forklifts I've seen. Alright, this forklift seems to be a bit heavier than what our truck can really handle, but we should be able uh, to get it back to our shop okay. We're going to have to go a little bit slower, but wow, I was not expecting the forklift to be this big and this heavy, and we definitely want to be careful. It looks like there is extra weights on the back end of this uh, to lift heavier pallets, and we are really, really pushing the limits here of our own truck. Luckily, we were able to get the forklift, so we'll still get paid for it, but we don't want to break the truck. That would not uh, help out, and we'll be not able to do any repos. Oh yeah, we're going to have to go a bit slow. wasn't expecting this at all. I thought that the uh, forklift wouldn't be that heavy. We might have to look into maybe getting a gooseneck trailer and a flatbed truck for upcoming repos. I think that would be a good thing. But let's get this unloaded here and let's put it inside. We have one more repo for today, which is a commercial lawn mower. It's a Provi Hopper mower, and uh, the bank said that it's valued at over $8,000, and the company is uh, roughly five months behind on payments. Hopefully, uh, we can go find it today. Now, we'll go by the uh, company shop because uh, it is owned by them, and maybe it's out back, maybe it's hidden, or even uh, inside the garage, which we can't get to. So far, I've really been enjoying the Nebraska Lands map and definitely will be featuring it here in a lot more videos. Now, this is actually the uh, shop. It looks like nobody's here. And is there kind of a back road area? It looks like a small road. Hopefully, it's around back and we could grab it. We'll go by very slow looking and there it is right out back. Wow, I was actually expecting it to be inside, but luckily, uh, they left it out here for us. And we'll check the VIN. Perfect, so this is it. Let's hop on the inside. Nobody's here. There was one truck here, but I don't see anyone, and let's get it loaded up. Now, this mower, I do remember using it in farming similar way back in FS13, so that is pretty cool to see it all the way here in FS19, and I believe it's on the official website as well, which is a pretty neat thing. Right about there seems to be good. Perfect. Hope all of you guys enjoyed today's repo video here on the Nebraska Lands map. We got to use a straight line of rollback to do a pretty good amount of repos. One of them I thought we weren't going to be able to make it back to the shop, but it's all good. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.